Wait a minute. Pa, are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to the Eagle Moss Presents Build Back to the Future DeLorean. We're going to be doing issue 63 today, which looks like it's going to be the front hood, though I'm not sure that we're actually going to be installing it. I think that's another issue or two away. Um, let's see, without further ado, we're not going to look at that. Let's see, Art of the Matter artist Drew Struzan, who produced the poster for Back to the Future, returned to provide more stunning art for the sequels. So I guess that was this. And Elijah Wood, that's right, Elijah Wood was in um, He was in Back to the Future 2. That's funny. It's Frodo! <laughs> um, all right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so we've got the hood. I don't actually think we're doing anything with the main... Um, you know, the, the upper frame. I don't think we're doing anything with that, this issue. <clears throat> okay. Throw, I just got to throw that away. Just get it out of here. Get it out of here. Ooh, look at the hood. It's nice. That's really nice. Very, very, very nice. Um, all right. First up, we have... This, man, this hood is heavy. I mean... That is like one heavy piece of of kit all right so i'm gonna just flip it upside down we're gonna lay it like this uh let's see 63b which looks like is it these hinge bits oh these are like little tiny hinges okay so how 63b yep hinges um Take part 63A and fix on the two hinges. Now, if we look here in the pictures, the this bracket kind of faces one way. So, let me see here. So, basically, I guess we're going to have to kind of have it open like this. Okay, and those are the KM screws, so let's see what these KM screws are all about. Okay, I'm just trying to see which ones... Okay, it'll fit with this big one, which is good. Okay, not going to tighten that down. Actually, that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be kind of a pain, but no. Not really at all. All right. Okay, and again, the same thing over here. Uh-oh, <laughs> this one wants to fall over. Go figure. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of turn this a little bit. I love that, just nice flat black. Uh-oh. Why 
Why is this not fitting down in here now? Now we got to put some more elbow grease in, into these. These are a little bit tighter than the other side. Boy, I feel I feel sorry for people that don't have like a good set of, you know, backup tools cuz the tools that come with this kit leave much 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 to be desired. Okay, so I guess the the well this is the front. So I guess this will kind of maybe go down and then, you know, it'll because this is the front, this is where the windshield is, but the roof kind of open, or the hood kind of opens that way, so. Um, okay. Next, we have, um, 63C and 63D. How do we know which one is which? Ah. Okay, so they kind of only fit one way. They've got a little pin and then the larger hole. So then right down in here, hopefully oh, you guys can see this, um, right down in here, there is a, a little pin and a hole. So that will only fit in that way. And the other one will only fit in that way. Okay, AM screws, we've got three of those, which means we will be using two of them. The remaining one is going to go back in the package, never to be heard from again. Probably. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, this is the AM screw. All right. So, let's see. It's got this one first. And I'm like barely pushing. It's going right in really nice and easy. Um, there, I can feel the tension. And bam. Okay, good. And we'll do the same thing over here. Yeah, this one's going in a little bit. Yeah, it's still going in pretty good. Okay, there I can feel the tension on it. Give it a nice tightening there. Bam, okay. Next page. Yep, we don't even, we don't even touch the main frame. Um, which is a lie, because I just touched it. <laughs> Uh, PM screws now. Um, 63E. Are both of these the same? 63E, 63E. Yes. And do these actually retract? Oh, they do. Ooh. Okay, so. Okay, this goes like that, and then the other one goes, yeah, the opposite, okay. Yeah, okay. That's not gonna work. Let's try this one. That's got like a weird thread on it too. Okay, well this one works. So that just goes right in there.
Hmm. Will this work? That definitely will not. Dang it. See, this is like where I wish I still had that original screwdriver. I still have it, but it's broken, so it won't, you know, I can't do anything with it, even if I wanted to. Um, wait, maybe if I take this out and I kind of thread it first, because it just does not, it doesn't want to, it doesn't want to go in past a certain point. Right there's the point. Yeah, this is a pain. I don't want to hold it in my hand either because I don't want to freaking. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Stab my hand. Because it basically has to go pretty much all the way in. Ow, that's going to hurt. That's going to leave a mark. It's going to be like a little blood blister or something there tomorrow, probably. like right there and I know that if I put this in here it's not gonna you know set all the way yeah because it basically has to be all the way flush against this part um, let's try doing this one Like I'm gonna have to rename this episode like will will Brad or will not Brad stab himself which honestly isn't the kind of episode name I would want what happens if I pull these all the way out I don't know not not much I don't guess let me see here maybe if I hold it in place with this just it still just does not want to work what if I go like this I mean it's like it's like these screws are too long or something. We've had this issue before where we did have screws that were too long. I just don't know if this is gonna be one of those issues. Yeah, there you can kind of see the blood blisters coming through. Ew, gross. All right, so I basically cut one of these screws in half. I'm gonna see if I can thread this. Because if it'll thread down in there, we are in business. And actually, it's not gonna thread because I can see I 
and kind of see where it's pinched. Hmm. trying to kind of there's like a little burr on there I'm just trying to get this little burr off let's try it now This sure is infuriating. Let's see. Yeah, it's only got like a sixteenth of an inch or so to go. I wonder if I can, if I grab this. Jeez. Now it's still going in, but like I have to hold it in place. Without holding this. Okay, so this is going all the way in. Okay, good. All right, let's try to pull it out with the uh, screwdriver. Because if we can get it all the way in there, we should be able to pull it, like unscrew it. Yep, pretty easily. There we go. All right. Now, this should go all the way in. Or as all the way in as we're gonna be able to get it to go. So it's a little bit janky, um, but that's pretty much in place. Okay, so let's get rid of the screw that we broke in half or cut in half. We'll use our spare here. It's like the first time I think I've ever used a spare screw on this build, which is kind of funny. Ah, no, it's not that funny, I, I don't guess. <laughs> okay. Well, I thought this one was, I thought this issue was gonna go pretty quick and it's, gosh darn it, I swear if I stab myself one more time, I'm gonna scream. Which would make sense if you were stabbing yourself. Okay.
I'm essentially just using the leverage of the, you know, this strut here. Gosh, we're almost there. I think. I think it's all the way in. I think this one we got all the way in. The other one, not quite, but I think this one is pretty much in there. All right. Ugh, I'll be glad to have this part done. Gee, man. It's still like a little janky, so I don't know. I don't know how this is really gonna end up working. Um, 63, let's see, 64. What do we get in issue 64? The hood frame. There's like a little power thing here. Not sure what these pieces are or these are, but I'm sure we'll find out in issue 64. A um, couple things I wanna do before I go though is set that aside for one. And we want to bring the car out. I just want to kind of put this in place just to see kind of where it's going to go. So this is going to be basically, let's see. Oh, these things are hanging down. That's why it's not going down all the way. As are the... Oh, there we go. So this, this is going to kind of open like this, maybe. And maybe there's, I don't know if this little tab here is going to go, I don't know how this is all going to go together, to be honest with you. I have no idea. Um, I was hoping that it would go in a lot easier than that. Um, but one thing I wanted to pull out was the front left quarter panel from one of the early issues. I don't know if it was, I don't know which issue it was, two, three, four, but this is actually going to fit on to the side right here. So, you know, we can kind of tell maybe we're in the ballpark, maybe we're still a little bit off. I almost feel like this should move like this way a little bit, but I don't know. So eventually, you know, this will fold up. Anyway, um, I thought that would be cool to kind of pull out and, um, you know, you can kind of see how that's going to eventually fit on there someday. Very nice. All right. We are done with issue 63 of the Eagle Moss Presents Build Back the Future DeLorean. As always, don't forget to hit a like, uh, hit the like button, like, 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 uh, leave a comment. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe for this and many more videos. Guys, I'm Brad M73, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.